Good morning all, welcome to Vlogmas J21. <laughs> almost air dried which this is the fastest it has ever air dried in my life drinking some very 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 hot matcha tea and I'm having a bagel with locks today oh yes Ooh. hot 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 toasty bagel we're gonna put on some cream cheese ooh la la and tonight you guys know my love language is giving gifts. I love to give gifts to people. I love to show people that I, I care through obviously more than just gifts, but I don't know. I just love like listening to people and you know, it could be February and they mention something that they really want or something that they could really use or something that would make them happy. And I'm like, perfect, noted for December. So tonight I am taking Wit and Sarah out to dinner. We're going to a little fancy, you know, a little uh, holiday work party dinner and I'm gonna surprise them with their gifts there and I'm so excited to just take them out, treat them, to show them how much I'm grateful for them, have a fun time together, and then their gifts. Ah, I'm so excited. I got them quite a few like little mini things, especially during like small business hauls and stuff this month. And then for each of their big gifts, I got them really cute little Prada bags. I'm just so uber grateful for them. Of course, every year, but especially this year, they really stepped up and helped me so much and I wouldn't have been able to get nearly as much done without them. Cooking with Remy literally only exists because I have their help. So I owe them so much, not only for my work, but also I just feel like I found a lot of my self-worth this year, especially through cooking with Remy. And again, it wouldn't be possible without them so I'm so so grateful and obviously gifts aren't the only way to thank people but I, it's just a little token of my appreciation so I'm so excited to give that to them tonight we've got a bagel cream cheese salmon my allergies are acting up like crazy this morning I'm gonna do tomato slices and then I'm gonna do some red onion slices just a little bit of that oh yeah that looks good red onion check and then we got some cucumber that I'll eat on the side all right now we got a season little flaky salt I'm gonna keep it simple and just eat it like this all right big bite taste test here we go delicious I'm gonna enjoy and then let's get ready for the day hi guys okay we are upstairs and I'm in the glam room as you can see and we have really beautiful lighting because the whole balcony is covered up with these tarps so I've got my ring light on and all my little glam lights on and the lighting is actually spectacular so we might have to do this more often normally I use natural lighting in this house but because obviously the windows are covered up I had to switch it out it's supposed to rain a lot the next few days so that's why we had to tarp everything but I'm going to get ready for the day you guys know I usually speed through my get ready process with you, but I've actually been getting quite a few comments as to what my everyday makeup routine is and if I can show it more and kind of do like an in-depth tutorial. And don't you worry, I will be doing an in-depth tutorial very soon, but not on myself, on someone else. Stay tuned for that vlog coming very soon. We're actually gonna film that after this and I just need to get ready for it. So in case you didn't pick up on it, I'm gonna do my makeup on Cal. We're gonna do a video, again, another vlogmas prep video for when we go to Minnesota where I turn Cal Cal into me. I cannot wait to see what the results are. It's gonna be so much fun. What's so great about this is Cal agreed to do this like a month into our relationship. I just kind of always kept putting it off and off and off and I always kind of forgot about it. He's super down and he's also so secure in his own self and masculinity that he's like, oh, it'll just be a fun time. I'm just curious to see what it looks like. So that's gonna be so funny and that'll come at you in the next couple of days. Until then, I will do my own makeup though and let's speed through. And again, you'll get a step-by-step -step tutorial very soon. guys okay I got fully ready I did my hair I put some oil in my hair while it was wet today and it definitely is looking a little greasy I put a little too much oil in but we are ready and we are about to begin 
Cal's transformation video. So be sure to uh, come back to, I think it's gonna be Vlogmas Day 25. Saving the best for last, come sit in my beauty chair. <laughs> oh my God, I look like a ghost. I love you so much. Okay, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay guys, uh, we're gonna do this and I will catch you very soon. Bye. So bright. See you in the next clip. Cal it was finished. a lot easier than I thought. Cal just finished taking his makeup off. It was like two steps. Do you feel good? I feel fine. He feels good. Guys, that video was hilarious. I almost cried like five times. Me Thanks too. Thanks for participating, <laughs> baby. Of course. He did such a good job. Yeah. Did I look beautiful? You better say I look beautiful. He looked beautiful and <laughs> scarily like his, his mom and his sister and it was kind of freaking me out so we had, <laughs> we had to rush end it and get it off. Okay, we're just hanging out and we? uh, we're gonna work on some other little projects today. Are we? We are. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, it's been a little while since I last talked to you. I've been busy working on another project, but I just finished that. Now I am super, super hungry because I haven't eaten since that bagel and it is time to have a very late lunch. I went through the pantry and this sounded really good and I thought we could do a little taste test together. This is the carbonara bull duck. It's like a cheesy, spicy ramen. So I'm boiling some water and I figured we could try this together. So I'm going to make it with some eggs. We got our water going back here and I think this is like less of a soup ramen and more of just a noodle ramen, like a dry one. So I'm just gonna boil my noodles and then I'm also gonna crack two eggs in here and poach them as well. All right, noodles are done cooking. I know the white stuff looks a little crazy. It's like a little cloud. It's just part of the egg whites, but I'm just gonna take the noodles out. You can strain it, but I'm using my chopsticks. Oh, I like how thick these noodles are. All right, and we got our little seasoning packs. We've got a powder and then the spicy sauce. I'm gonna throw that in. I think the excess water of the noodles is supposed to like make it into a sauce. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my God, it turned into like a creamy fettuccine sauce almost. There's like little onion bits in it. Oh, this looks bomb. Okay, let me try this on its own. Oh, the noodle texture is perfect. That is so good. Okay, let me try the little spicy. I don't know if I'm even gonna like the spicy. Ooh, oh my God, really spicy, but really good. I'm just gonna add. Not the whole thing. Oh my God, that's so yummy. The creaminess and the spiciness go well together. Oh my God, so good, so spicy. All right, I'm gonna add my eggs in as well. Little protein, and I just love an egg. Add them in. I might have overcooked it, I was distracted. Oh yeah, very much overcooked the eggs, but that's okay, still gonna be delicious. I just took a wonderful nap, Ollie's sitting with me. Hi, hey. and I need to touch my makeup up because we are going out to dinner tonight. But before then, we need to get ready and I am an oily, oily, messy gal. All right, time to change. And it's pretty cold today and it's also an outdoor restaurant. So I'm going to wear my parallel top. Here we go, this little top here, and then I'm gonna wear some leggings with it. And then for shoes, I'm thinking, should I step out in the boots? It is cold enough for them. I think I'm gonna step out in the boots. One sec, we're stumped. So I put on the top, the bottoms, and then I put on this black leather jacket, and then I put on some knee-high boots. I was gonna wear the white shoes, but I thought maybe an all black fit, or maybe I'll switch the jacket. You know, I do love me a jacket, so I've got lots of different colors to choose from. Let's try a different jacket. All right guys, here's the fit for dinner to keep me nice and warm. I've got on this jacket from Revolve. It's from Lovers and Friends. It's like a denim puffer jacket. My black parallel top, leggings are from Aritzia, and then just black patent leather boots. I'm gonna bring a black bag and we're gonna head out. But before then, I've got a haul because there are a lot of boxes stacking up by the door and we gotta get through them. Okay, so Cal just walked over about 10 giant PR packages that have shown up that are, I'm guessing Christmas gifts and things from people, but before then. Oh, there's more. Oh my God, there's more? Poor Cal. Miss Remy unboxing. Poor Cal. Miss Remy unboxing. Before we go, I need to wrap up Sarah and Witt's gifts so that I can stay on time. And I want to show Ollie and show you guys. It's a super, super, super Mid light blue. <laughs> it's super, super so light blue. Cute. It's almost like grayish, but it's like a really light blue. And then this is the one that I got for Wit. How pretty is the pink? I'm obsessed with both of them. Aren't these so pretty? It's little twin stars. I, oh my God, they are twin stars. <laughs> They're so right. All right, I got Wits. I got Sarah's. Hopefully I don't get them confused. All right, now let's open up some packages. I'm going to make this go as quickly as possible. Do you want to start with Mariah or end with Mariah? Start with Mariah. <laughs> Ollie's very excited. He found out I got a Mariah Carey PR package and asked me to turn the car around and get home so I can open it. We know this is from Mimi because it says Mariah Carey on the side of it and she's dressed like a little Santa. <gasps> a Mariah Carey mug! 
bag that says all I want for Christmas is you. We've got a Mariah Carey t-shirt. Oh, this is cute. Hot. Mariah on the back. I love that. Mariah. Here, you can have a count. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We've got two Mariah Carey vinyls of her All I Want for Christmas is You album. Whoa! Whoa! A record player! Thanks, Mariah! Ow! Not my makeup wiping off on this box. Oops. Next box, Amazon. I got my own little honey beehive honey dispenser with a little Stick so thing, cute. so cute. I'll so leave it linked down below. But I'm gonna put this on the charcuterie board with AR's hot southern honey on the crackers. So good. We got blue slush Alani new drinks. Hello. I think I'm gonna have one right now. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my god. Okay, it came with the blue slush flavor, which is amazing. This is Whitney Simmons collab. It literally tastes like a blue icy. I have to give it to Alani new. The flavors are always spot on. And it came with one of those as seen on TV products where you put things in here and then you can squeeze it and it makes a slushy like juice or soda. That's amazing. I'll freeze this tonight. We can try tomorrow. Next up, benefit. Oh. Keep it. Light? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my God. There's a new primer and then the professional spray. Gorgeous. Hell yeah, brothers. Hell yeah, brothers. Love you, Benefit. I have no idea what this is. Two Remy Cruz from, oh my God. My merch company sent me a Christmas gift. That's so cute. Wait, that's so nice. Wait, this is so sweet. Cookies. Thank God. Wow, wait, this is so kind of them. Cal's currently breaking down the boxes over there for me. Now this looks special. Last one, I think I know what it is. What, oh, 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 oh. what is it? <gasps> it is special. This is the Emily in Paris season two PR kit. Wow, oh my God. Look at this, it comes with a beautiful bottle of champagne, macarons, and a card from Lotta Ray. From Lotta Ray, yeah. <laughs> Did Lily Collins write me this? Maybe. Wait, is it double layered? It's double layered, <laughs> shut up. We got a bottle of champagne. There's a bottle of gin and champagne glasses. That's so cute. And St. Germain, so you can make a little cocktail. Wow, this is amazing. And this box is cute. I'm gonna use this box for sure. Okay, last but not least, this I've been waiting for and I can't wait to hang up. So this company reached out to me on Instagram and asked if they could make me a neon sign and I said, actually, I need a neon sign because I bought one for this front entrance room and one day it just stopped working. I don't know if I blew the circuit or what happened, but it stopped working. So they made me one and sent it. The company's called Glow Hub Co. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to say until it came to me. Do you know what I had it say? Did I tell you? No. Oh, you're, you're gonna love it. Probably something about alcohol. What? It says, and I quote, <laughs> Oh, the font's so cool. Pass, oh, you can't even really read it. Pass the vodka. It would be cute over the wall or over the bar, but I don't have any space to like hang it there, so this is going in the other room. But you know, this phrase illuminates throughout the house and throughout <laughs> my life. Will you hold it, Chicky? I'm gonna turn it on. Look how cute she is. Thank you so much. I love that, that's so sick. I actually love that font. The font is so cool. It's so different than anything I've done before. All right, I will leave them linked down below if you guys wanna check them out and get your own neon sign. They're really cool and they came very quickly and it was very easy to make. I'm gonna head out to dinner, let's go. We've got the iconic sky. Hi, Wit and Sarah, look how cute they look. Hi guys. So beautiful. Gotta let everyone know you're at catch, you know? My first espresso martini, not made by me. Because the one that I made that these two found the recipe for was really bad. <laughs> it's good, that's just strong. Oh my god. All right, starting off with a truffle sashimi. There we go. Oh, she's glistening. All right, we got crispy cauliflower, crispy shrimp. You guys, we got this whole branzino. Just a giant fish. Woo! Thank you so much, everyone. Everyone's flashlights. Thank you so much. All right, someone hit it. Someone hit it. Wait, go for it, yeah. What do I do? Just hit it in the middle? Just hit in the center. Yeah! Recording. Okay, this one's for Sarah. This one's for Wit. Let me do wide because I'm kind of close. Okay, and action. This is just to say thank you and I love you guys so much. <laughs> if you don't like the colors, we can exchange, but I thought they were perfect. We got a light blue and a light pink. 
<laughs> Thank you guys for everything. I love you. <laughs> I'm home. I'm in my PJs. Guess what? What? Guess what one of our Christmas gifts was, or one of mine, but now it's what? ours. A bidet. No way. Yes, Sarah got us a bidet, you guys. It was so fun. They were so sweet, and it was so much fun. I just was like, I felt like a proud mom watching them exchange gifts for each other, too, because they were so thoughtful for each other, and it's just like all I could ever ask for to just create like a fun and productive and just amazing workspace, so I'm just so happy. I am seriously so blessed, and it was so much fun. Now I'm home, and I was debating not showing this because there's a very off chance my aunt might happen to watch my vlog but I'm pretty sure she's not up to date and I'm gonna take a chance because I want to share this with you guys so if you guys have watched the vlogs for a while you know that my aunt and I love to troll each other we are equally both trolls to each other we think it's so funny to play jokes on each other so I believe it was like uh, it was probably like 2017 or so so like what four or five years ago he was in his peak he was blowing up again so my aunt would always talk about how much she loved pharrell and how great pharrell was and blah 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 blah. she would just always say the nicest things and i like i don't not like pharrell he seems like a nice guy i think i'm not really sure i don't keep up with him but he seems chill you know whatever but my aunt was just like extra supportive of pharrell then one day she calls me and she's so mad and she's like i hate Pharrell and I'm like what is going on girl this is again like at least five years ago I was like what's going on girl what's happening and she was like oh my god I was just walking around on Rodeo Drive and I fell in my heels that I was wearing and then someone steps over me and says something along the lines of like watch where you're going or watch your step or just something that was like no shit Sherlock I'm on the ground, thank you. Not like a, oh my God, are you okay? Is everything okay helping her up? It was like a watch where you're going kind of thing. And it was none other than Pharrell who told her this himself. So she called me and was like, I hate Pharrell. <laughs> so since then it's just been a joke and we honestly just like laugh about it. And then that same year I happened to go to Sephora and they were selling a Pharrell perfume. It's this one called Girl. Regardless, I bought it for her as a joke. It ended up being, she said it's like the worst smelling perfume of her life, but I just got like one little travel size one. And then after that, every year, we made it our mission to just troll each other back and forth and give it to each other as a Christmas gift. Back and forth and back and forth. Like one year, I wrapped it in this giant beauty blender that I was sent, like a life-size beauty blender. I wrapped it up, I stuffed it in the bottom of it. I traveled all the way to her house with it. Finally, the tradition ended two years ago when I went to go visit Cal family for the first time for Christmas in 2019 and I thought you know what the tradition's over obviously we're not going to be together so it's just not going to happen it's Christmas morning in Minnesota and we had opened up all our gifts and we we're just like sitting there chilling and Cal goes oh I have one more gift for you Rem and I'm like what could it be what is happening he goes and he brings me a small little package I open it up it is none other than the Pharrell perfume when I was least expecting it. My aunt, who, keep in mind, Cal and I were still very newly dating, pulled him aside and was like, I need you to do this for me. I need you to give her this when she's least expecting it in Minnesota. So yeah, that was the last time we exchanged it and she likes to say now that she won, it's over, the joke is dead. But little did she know, in the meantime, before she said that the joke is over, I had bought 10 more for her to play the joke back. I got these before we even moved into this house. Like they've just been sitting upstairs in my bathroom up in this house since the day we moved in. And you know what? I don't care if the joke is over. I'm bringing it back this year. So I thought it would be really funny to put these into a shadow box. So here's my idea. I want to surround the frame with the girl perfumes and then place one of these photos, a troll photo of Ollie and I in the center. I think quite possibly my favorite one is either the soft, the OG soft smile. This one's a really good contender. Or the one where I'm grasping the column is also really awkward and funny. I printed them all out just in case. Oh shoot, okay wait. I think I'm gonna go with this one actually. This is a good classic one, good classic, right there in the center. Okay, we're just gonna build around it. I feel like I need to like tape them into place also so they don't move around. Okay, we got three. Oh my God, this is the OG one because it's opened. <laughs> Decent size rollerball or a little travel size for Elle, good job. I just almost gagged. I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna talk about it.
Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Genius. She's all done. Genius. It was actually the perfect amount. So this is the final product. I'm going to wrap her up and I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogs. I promise you, you're going to want to come back tomorrow to the vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.